Hi guys, my name is Megan and today I've got my August TBR for you. All right, so hopefully, I'm, I'm just hoping August will chill out a little bit with the reading pace that I've been keeping because July was a little nuts. So let's go ahead and dive into the books that I'm planning to read this month. Um, so like always, we're gonna start off with my eBooks. So the first of which is gonna be Fresh Ink. This is the last book in the main Irons and Work series. This is a short story collection. So it's all of the little short stories, little bonus epilogues. I think maybe one of the novellas is in there, but this is just a kind of amalgamation of all these little scenes and things that didn't make it into the main series. I'm really looking forward to reading. And um, yeah, then in that, then I think that will be it for the Irons and Works series, like the main one. I know there is the Irons and Works Key Largo series, which I'm really excited to dive into, but for the main series, this is the last book. So next up I have Off Key. This is the last book in the Whispering Key series. And this one's gonna be so summery and just fun. This is gonna be like a second chance romance following Raph, who is the oldest of the of the brothers out of the four of out of the four main characters for the series. And it's following him and his ex-wife's brother, who he kind of had a crush on growing up. And I'm really excited to dive into this one. Next up I have Intoxicating. This is the first book in the hold on, I don't remember the series name for this one. Oh no. So this is the first book in the Elite Protection series. This is actually the uh, series that came before the um, Necessary Evil series. So I'm really excited to dive into this book and just like see how things, you know, kind of progress and get to the Mulvaney's. And this is basically like a bodyguard client uh, romance. So I'm here for this. Also, it's gonna be a dark romance because that's what Amelie James does best. And I'm here for it. And then the last of my ebooks that I'm planning is Alpha Dragon's Eagle. This is an Omegaverse book. Um, it's the Dragon, it's the second book in the Dragon Fates games series. All right, so that is it for my ebooks that I'm planning for this month. Now on to the physical books, uh, the first of which is gonna be King's Rising. This is the third book in the uh, Captive Prince series. I do not wanna know what's going into this because that's worked for me really well in the past of the series and I know it's gonna get really intense really, really fast. One of the manga that I'm planning to read this month is going to be Therapy Game Restart Volume 3. This is following Minato and Shizuma as they try to figure out their work schedules and how they're going to be moving in together. And you know, it's gonna be a little messy because it's Minato and Shizuma, but I'm here for them and they're just so sweet. Uh, the next book that I'm planning to read this month is going to be That Time I Got Drunk and You Did a Love Potion at a Werewolf. This is the second book in the Mead Mishap series. Um, this one is following Brie, who is a cheesemaker, and uh, like the title says, she got drunk one night and accidentally threw a love potion at a werewolf, and like the werewolf kind of already was kind of maybe having a crush on her, so yeah, there's gonna be all sorts of fun in this one and I'm just really excited for this one. Uh, the next manga that I'm planning to read this month is Mr. Villain's Day Off. I figured this would be a really fun adventure following a villain who is just taking a day of vacation, um, you know, away from all the evil. He's trying to just hang out at an amusement park and just enjoy his day off. So yes please. And then the last book I'm gonna be planning to read this month is going to be Rosalind Palmer Takes the Cake. This is following Rosalind Palmer, who she's going on a Great British Bake Off type series, and I'm here for it. So those are the books that I'm planning to read this month. I'm really looking forward to all of them, but especially my manga this month. So what are you guys planning to read this month? Let me know down below. Um, if you guys like this video, don't forget the like button. If you haven't already but would like to, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to follow me on social media for more bookish stuff, check out the links down below. Alrighty, bye guys.